Guys, we came to fish over here at Luna and somebody dumped some tires over there. Hubby's reversing in here because we're going to do a little bit of night fishing with my... Um... Anyways, as I was saying, um, we're going to come do a little bit of night fishing with my um, stepbrother and his wife, my sister-in-law. And Hubby's over there... Um, you can see hubby in the rear view mirror he's moving the tires around and um so that we could be able to park right there because my stepbrother is going to come like i said and he's going to so he could park next to us over here and i don't know so we can have some space but yeah look at that guys That's just so sad to me that people have to come and dump. You guys know this. Every time that I do a video, I tell y'all. And um, litter and trash always comes out on my vlogs when we are fishing because people think that they can just dump wherever. That's just so sad. tell y'all hi because I was so um, disappointed at the tires that they had dumped here but hi Lily here welcome to my channel <laughs> um, so yeah we're here at Luna Road and like I was telling you guys we're gonna do a little bit of night fishing uh, we're waiting for my stepbrother and my hubby's over there I guess setting up let me go see what he's doing guys look what hubby found here at Luna Road It dried up. Dried up. It's big. It's pretty big. Yeah, the water here is pretty, pretty high. Right now, because of the rain. I'm surprised that it's dry here. I'm surprised that it's dry. But yeah, have we found that little... What is it called, babe? Crawdad crayfish? Crawfish? I don't know, guys. I don't know what this is, but yeah, he found it because the water was all the way. But yeah, the water was all the way up to the road over there. We couldn't even back up here where we are right now. So here goes my job, like always. <laughs> Thing. Did you hear that noise? Babe? Uh -huh. Did you hear that noise? It sounded like a branch cracking. I know. I heard that earlier too. Here at Luna, I don't know if I've told you guys, they, we have seen hogs or pigs. Wild pigs. I don't know what's the difference, but they're wild pigs because they don't have like the tusks or whatever. I, what? They're here. I hear yeah. I hear the 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 oinking or the yeah, I hear them. They're oinking. They're oinking. And you can hear them like when they walk, they're so big that they can break branches. I saw them. I think they, they're right there by that tree. They break branches and then um yeah, well you could hear it because they're so big. <gasps> Let me go um set this um thing over there so we can catch some bait. You can hear the noise this way to our right like when we drive in here I mean to our right it's to our left there's wild pigs there's also we've seen skunks we've seen snakes we've seen raccoons here Okay, so here I go. Guys, I tell y'all, there's always somebody else fishing here. 
Look at those two fishing pole holders right there that they used. Oh gosh, it's so muddy over here where I was going to go put the bait catcher. Look at all that. I think I'm just going to take it through here and put it in between those two right there. Can you guys see the bait catcher right there? You can see the bread floating. I wanted to put it further over there, babe, but all of that is so muddy. Yep. Guys, I don't know if it's blurry or not blurry. I can't see very well. But look at my view. I need to put the timer on for the bait. We usually leave it for like 20 minutes. Yeah, we don't catch a turd. Don't say that. Yeah, I don't want to catch a turtle. Guys, there's a lot of action over there by the bait catcher. We can see little ripples here and there. Hopefully we do catch something. Some bait. Mm, it stopped. I'm like, I'm going to record it. All the little commotion, but nope. Those little ripples right there are these little bugs in the water that just swim on the top. Hubby wants to come fishing tomorrow in the morning. I don't know how early. Hold on, let me ask. Him. Babe, what time do you want to come fishing tomorrow? Early. Oh, he said early. Okay, early in the morning. Like around. <laughs> mm, I love what he said. Um, early in the morning around 6, we'll get here. He said we'll leave the house, go get some breakfast like we did when we went to Grapevine. Which is what we usually do when we come fishing early in the morning. We stop by and get some breakfast because, you know, we can't fish on an empty tummy. <laughs> but yeah, and so we can come here and fish before the sun comes out. Oh, and also guys, um, I know that I don't have to explain myself to anybody on here. But, um... We are fishing with my stepbrother today, and um, I know that we're supposed to be social distancing still, but I know we're, you know, in the outdoors, and we do stay, you know, pretty much apart, spaced out apart, so I don't think it's a big deal. And um, so, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that, okay? We don't go fishing all the time with them. It's usually just hubby and myself. And um, usually every time when hubby and I do go fishing, I vlog for you guys, so, yeah, okay, just wanted to let you guys know. What'd you say? Hubby said that we're going to have fun with these guards tonight. I'm over here, um, throwing a few casts over here on this side, right here, I don't know if you can see, but, um, I don't know where to put my phone so I can record myself fishing. I didn't even bring my, my tripod <laughs> that hubby made last time. I told him we should bring it and just like shove it in the dirt somewhere. Anyways, let me get to fishing. Guys, hubby said that the tires were a bit useful. The ones they dumped right there, he made a little um, path to step on, like some little stepping stones to get to the other side because it's so muddy right there. <laughs> He's like, if you want to come over this side, you could just step on the tires.
like they're here. Yeah, because the the footprints that are all right there, that's them. And the, over there, they would have to swim across. Where? Oh, they can walk across if it ain't too deep. Where do they go when the water gets all high? Like, when it was all the way up to the road, where do they know. go? They probably, they, they can probably find high land, or dry land, real high. We should check the bait catcher. Okay, boy. You guys, have you noticed that I put the the bait catcher in all wrong? It's all it was all um, slanted to the side. Dang it! Give me the bucket. Only one little bait. Hopefully, gonna end up Robert. How many did it catch? One or two? Two. Two and the first one went in. Your phone is ringing. There goes a bobber. No time to wait. So, Puppy took out the two. Um the two little fish that it got caught in there and now he's gonna switch it I took out the soggy bread and put more bread in there and then it got undone yeah. oh I got undone from the fishing pole I thought you were gonna fall in there that's what had happened that's okay so, and he's making sure it goes down evenly. <laughs> so hopefully we catch a little bit more bait. Okay guys, so for whoever hasn't seen this yet, or, well, nobody has seen this part yet, because this is new, but anyways, this is a little DIY, um, I guess you could say DIY little bait holder thingy that hubby made. It's just a bucket, like a paint bucket. He cut it down a little bit, and then we went to the Dollar Tree, and he got one of these little um, strainers or drainer, drain thingy. And then, um, I think it's a strainer, whatever. And then this little handle right here is a wire uh, hanger. And you just pull it up so you can get the fish. How cool is that? And then this little air bubbler, they're pretty cheap. We got it at Walmart for like, I don't know, like five, six bucks. I'm not, I don't think we paid more than ten bucks for it. But yeah, it's and then this little rope, we had it laying around at home. And so yeah, you can do things that you have. Um, you can do things with things you have laying around at home. And I think that's so cool. You just grab it. I want that fishy. Put it back. Oops, I did it wrong. But anyways, it's in there. And it works just fine. Oh my goodness, guys. It is so hot. I came to drink a little water. Because eh, today was 97 degrees here in Texas. In Dallas, Texas. I oh, decided to take a little breather because it is so hot. Y'all see Hubby back there? Looks like he's looking this way, right? Oh, he turned already. But yeah. Okay, wait till the sun goes down and the fish start biting. My view again from inside of the truck. Guys, my stepbrother and my sister are here already, so I might not, you know, vlog as much, but, you know, we'll see. 
Hey, there's quite a little bit more in there now. Huh? Oh man, he got a whole bunch of them. Look, guys. No, throw it back again. Yeah. Let me see it. Oh yeah. Let's go back in the water. Look, guys. There's bait now. One more time in the water. Sun went down already. Oh, he's got Terry's fishing pole with his, his net up. Oh, yeah, he's still right here. Look at that. It didn't have any? Boo boo. Huh? What'd you say? Still out here. I've been getting bites and a lot of action. So we had like this nice setup with lights and everything so that whenever yeah you know, we get a bite or catch a fish we can show it to you and it's like bright because with my phone it's only like the flash of the camera and it's not really bright so but anyways my stepbrother he caught one he got a bite and I don't know we were thinking it's gars right baby yeah we we're thinking it's gars because his wife caught a gar his wife hooked one almost pulled her fishing pole in the water yeah her fishing pole almost got pulled in the water. That's pretty cool. Hubby stopped it with his foot. <laughs> so it wouldn't go in the water. But one day we'll have the setup that I dream of for night fishing. And so that we can make good videos for you guys. But um, for now we'll just have to do with my little cell phone. <laughs> um, but anyways, tomorrow, um, like I told you, I think at the beginning of the video I told you guys that Hubby wanted to go back to Luna like early in the morning before the sun was even you know before the sun even comes out so that's what we're gonna do and see if we have any luck in the morning and actually catch something and show you guys so we'll see you guys on our next video bye say bye baby <laughs>